This is Digger Man Fly on RC in Motion. I know I haven't been posting videos lately, but I'm gonna about to show you guys why uh, I haven't been posting videos. Um, I'm trying to get into this new class, uh, new feel for it. So uh, I'm getting ready to uh, start this out uh, just about the winter time frame because that's when um, uh, some indoor tracks start out. But let me go ahead and show you guys. Um, what I what I got going um, thank you again guys for the feedback you guys are awesome hey I'm here to help I'll try to make videos of anything you guys ask for um, regarding any RC tutorials or, or whatnot I mean if you need uh, a reviewer of a product um, URC does a lot of good reviews I do a lot of tutorials or, or, or maintenance wise or how to do's so um, uh, Keep me posted and I'll, I'll be glad to take out one of my kits and show you guys. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys what I've been up to, okay? Um, this is my first one. I have a lineup of about four or five that I have to uh, finish. But this is uh, my first one. Let me show you guys here. Here it is. I call this one the Frankenstein. You guys will find out why here in a minute. Um... This is uh, Red Cat Racing, I believe is the EPX Lightning or ESP Lightning, something like that. Um, it's totally changed in the fact that I've installed parts from other vehicles such as these um, aluminum hex with the grub screw to hold on that pin. These are actually from my uh, Trail Finder 2 kit that I had. I had extras, so... I went ahead and put them on there because the uh, plastic ones, they were binding on this plastic here and the wheels weren't spinning properly on that bearing. So went ahead and put on those metal ones just for, you know, so so they won't bind and they can uh, drive freely. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the uh, interior here. Let's take off these pins. Uh, this body, I painted it myself in a rush kind of, so I'm sorry if it looks bad, but... This is what it looks like. I painted the entire body myself. You guys can see the inside is black. Uh, I tried to do some marble effect here in the back, but I don't know if that worked out. <laughs> I did the little carbon fiber uh, look to the uh, top. Um, I can try and make a tutorial if you guys want, but I just used um, some drywall tape. That's pretty much what I used. Um, and I did the racing stripes and the hood. Uh, mar kind of a marble effect I tried um, but it was too much of the uh, the gray I believe and this is actually black this is like a gunmetal gray this is black with like some silver specks and whatnot and of course I just went ahead and sticker bombed it a little so this uh, this this um, from what I'm told this this type of body and this type of setup that I have can be used in the mod class um, the reason I call it Frankenstein is, again, I have some parts from other cars. Here you guys can see. Let me take off these um, clip savers. <clears throat> um, you guys can see in the front, these are team-associated TC5 shocks. Front and rear. I found them to work better than the stock ones. Let me show you uh, the stock ones. The stock ones bring like this progressive uh, rate uh, spring, somewhat like the ones we use on our crawlers. So I didn't think that was it, that wasn't stiff enough for um, an on-road vehicle. So I went ahead and used some thicker and stiffer springs, as you guys can see. Of course, Team Associated has a good uh, assortment of springs, and on the uh, shock oil, I went with about fifty. Um, 50 weight and um, seems to be working better than these but this is the type of a uh, uh, shock that the stock red cat racing has now again I'm not a red cat racing fan but I think um, to start off in in a class uh, let's say a modded class 
they require you to have a um, TC5. And for you guys that know the TC5 chassis well out there, this is an exact replica. Look at this. An exact replica of the TC5 chassis. For some reason, the exact replica. Look at that. Except that this is wider. Let me find, let me get let me show you guys what I mean. Check it out. This is a nitro version, okay? That I had. This is where I just salvaged some parts and I'll just strip this one from parts for parts. But this is the exact same chassis. Except this one's a little wider and that one's shorter. Look at that. The exact same thing. So I can run it on the clap. I can run it on the modded class. Or even more, if I change the body and the tires, I can run it in the VTA class. Look at that. So I went ahead with the um, Easy Run. I believe it's the Easy Run. Um, just cheapo. I think that's like a uh, 37 or 3900 kV motor. I went with the Traxxas because it's a high response. But it's not metal gear, so it's all plastic. Is the uh, 2075. I'm using the Futaba R203GF receiver. And the radio is that. Let me show you the radio. The radio is the uh, Futaba T3P RKA 2.4 gigs. And what I do, I use rechargeable energizer batteries. That way I don't have to keep buying batteries all I do is recharge it okay uh, for for battery power I'm using a, a three cell because this system's uh, good for a three cell the one I have in I'm using a three cell um, Traxxas power pack I think it's like uh, 4,000 milliamps yeah you guys can see it here 25 C 4,000 milliamps uh, let me show you guys what that looks like Okay, so I wired everything up myself. I made sure it was away from the drive shaft and away from anything, any moving components or hanging from um, the body itself or the chassis. So I went ahead and I just uh, tightened it up to this um, chassis brace along the entire length of the car. <clears throat> this is a Frankenstein. This thing is. Okay. That's pretty much how it runs. You guys can see no shaking whatsoever. Everything. And that that's actually the fan what you hear. That's the fan. At three cell, this thing I ran it for about I'd say fifteen minutes. And it was cool to the touch. That motor stays cool. I have um, uh, running gears are the stock. Um, I, I believe it's a 54. Don't correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. You guys could check on their website the stock um, specs on Red Cat Racing. Um, I believe it's a 54, and I'm using a 20, a 20 tooth um, pinion. The spur I believe is 20 is 54. I'm using the 20 and it still say, stays cool to the touch, doesn't overheat. The last system I had overheats real bad, which is the Castle Creation, uh, Mom, uh, the Mama Max. Uh, but they have, of course, uh, issues with their ESCs uh, burning out. I checked the forums. But yeah, this is, um, this is what I've been working on lately. Uh, racing on the, uh, the, uh, the local club uh, here in Austin, Texas. Let me show you the tires I'm running. I'm running uh, front and rear, of course. The um, the sweeps R40s. These, uh, from from what I heard, these are like the top notch. I mean, they are super sticky. Look at that. And these are the ones to run, from what I heard, uh, at the local track. So I picked up a set for about thirty bucks, I believe. And um, they're good for asphalt, even indoor. But uh, these are the best ones for uh, for outdoors. Uh, for asphalt uh, running or racing um, These are good for up to 60 degrees Celsius. I believe and I mean they they can pack a punch and hold on to that um, 
asphalt real good. Like I said, they're real, they're real sticky. You guys can see my fingerprint. And um, I use the uh, Paragon FX2. These are just, this is just a tire traction compound. That way the dirt and the, the dust doesn't stick to your, um, to your tires. Uh, and that, that's what I use for the tires. So, but, um, yeah, this is pretty much what I've been working on. Um, so far, this is where I've, I have it. I have, uh, I still have a couple videos, uh, to make for you guys. I know I still have the trail finder video. I have to, um, upload that one. And, um, I have, uh, the SEX 10 video as well. After a couple runs, I want to show you guys um, the weak points. I want to give you guys uh, some detailed information that uh, a lot of people they do give it, but they give they just they just brush it overall. They just touch it overall. They say here and there, but I'll try and go in detail with you guys. Um, but this is pretty much I've been I've been working on this for for the past month month and a half trying to find the right components, making it run good, uh, working it. Uh, so that way it runs perfect. Uh, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, hope it was informative. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted on the Trail Finder and the SEX10 videos that I'm going to um, post up soon. After uh, These are videos for the after run. Um, so that way you guys know what to expect when... Uh, running your kits, okay? Um, I have a lot more on-road vehicles as well to post, so I'll keep you guys posted. Remember, remember guys, um, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.